this is an overheating issue on a switch. So switches don't really overheat unless there's something wrong with the fan. So let's just see if we can pop it on charge. Well, see if we can turn it on first. See if it's got any charge in it. Oh, it's always nice when they come with a bit of charge in it, just so I can test it straight away, isn't it? Like if you can, like if if you've got an issue like this, for example, like try and charge it up a little bit before you send it in, and then just turn it off before we get sent. Uh, okay, so yeah, this just says that it's overheating slash the uh, fan isn't working. So I'm gonna get straight into it with this one. Um, chances are the diode's failed, and it's not actually an issue with the fan. So I'll just get straight into it, I'll take it apart and uh, see what the deal is with it, shall we? Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. Whether you've got a simple project that requires a quick mod board, or you want to launch your own products to the world, PCBWay can help. With fantastic pricing on multi-layer PCBs, flex PCBs, 3D printing and even laser cutting solutions, you're sure to get everything you need all in one place. Custom PCBs start from just $5 for a 1-2 to two layer board with a fast 24 hour build time and free shipping on orders over $30. PCBWay are also proud to announce their new aluminium PCBs which start at just $120 per square metre. Check out what PCB way have to offer by clicking on the link in the video description or the top pinned comment and get your project started today. Thanks again to PCB way for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to the repair. Should be a nice straightforward repair. Let's remove the SD card so that don't get damaged. Yeah, this one should be fairly straightforward, being uh, an overheating issue. Chances are the diode on the board has failed, it normally does. Uh, I don't have any Joy-Cons, but chances are it's not going to be charging a Joy-Con at the same time because it's all connected to one circuit. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. I appreciate the support, mate. Thank you, buddy. Uh, I mean, this is pretty dang dusty. Let's pair that off for a minute. I'll turn it back on in a second. Uh, it is dusty, but it's not. Like that's never going to be the reason why it's overheating. These just really don't need a lot of um, cooling power, to be honest. You you could see that the fan wasn't spinning. But what I will do is, in a minute, I'm going to intentionally heat it up. I'll turn that back on. I'm going to intentionally heat it up just so I can have a look and see if the fan kicks in. So what all I'll do is I'll just run the hot air over the heatsink for a couple of minutes. Well, I'll, rem I'll remove the heatsink and run it over the top of the CPU for well, not a couple of minutes, a couple of seconds. It doesn't take long. It really doesn't take long for these to get to a point where it, the fan kicks in. Uh, we've got some busted plastic. Uh, that's going to be off this back cover. Um, the back cover is a little bit damaged. There was no screws in the bottom or the top. So I'm going to go for 120, 140 degrees. Um, first of all, so I can remove this. But at the same time, this is going to be heating the entire board up as well. So I want to remove this without damaging this adhesive, if I can. There we are. So that's turned on. So this entire case is actually damaged. If we just do what we're going to be doing anyway, which is going to be cleaning the thermal paste off. So we'll get rid of that. Might as well do it from the heatsink as well at the same time. We've got to replace that no matter what, so there we go, that's it, that's done. But if I intentionally heat this up now, ah, that fan did try and kick in, it's not the MOSFET, it's just the fan. The fan did try and kick in, 
So we're going to get an overheating error message in a minute. Yeah, that fan is trying to spin. Ah, yeah, it's seized. Well, this is going to be a nice, easy repair then. Let's disconnect our battery. Yeah, so, as you can see, it doesn't spin freely. So this one's going to be nice and straightforward. Just a replacement fan. I'm good, Tony. <coughs> I'm good, Tony. How are you, mate? Sorry, buddy. Right, let me grab a replacement. Just grab a scrap housing. So that one spins freely. This is actually an OLED housing right there. So I do have some spare parts for it, just not many. Uh, actually, no, the OLED fans are... Ugh, damn it. Well... Just realise the OLED fans are a different size. <laughs> okay. Well, trust me, the first housing that I pick up, I'll grab an OLED one. And don't realise that I've unscrewed the damn thing. Hang on. Right. So, replacement fan. So, that's how it should spin. It should spin freely. This one. seeds but it will turn if I turn it manually but it's not spinning freely the uh, I mean it could just be clogged up but it's not worth fixing them they cost a few pound each it's not like they're expensive obviously I use used fans because I've got the parts available it's no point me buying new ones if, uh, if the parts are available right so yeah there we go <laughs> that's fixed <laughs> oh it should be so it was even easier than i thought which is always nice there we go bit of MX4 there we go a lot of busted plastic off that back cover but now if I force it to get warm There we go. Fan spin. Fan spin. Easy peasy. Uh, E-Tech NW. Thank you for resubscribing. Six months. I appreciate that. The support is always appreciated. Thank you. If I can get back to regular streaming, if we can get back to over 200 Twitch subs, I'll be able to turn off ads again, but I can't at the minute. Uh, right, there we go. That's all working. Um, obviously, this back cover does need replacing. It does need a full test as well, which I'll do off camera. Slight bending on this as well, so that is a little bit concerning, but yeah. And we've got some very slight bending to the case in the typical CPU spot. This, I will need to advise a customer, this does stand a good chance within the next 12 months of getting a blue screen of death. Um, personally, if it was me, I'd replace the housing. But the problem is, when you get bending like this as well, there's a chance that it can cause a blue screen of death just by taking the board out. Which is rather frustrating, but it is what it is. That's just the way it goes. Um, these are made of butter. So, yeah. But anyway, the fan's done this job. Well, what it coming for is done. Is done. Um, obviously, I can't show anything of that. Uh, Nintendo Switch V1 overheating fan. That's that's what it said on the paper. Uh, so he wrote he wrote the details down manually because the he didn't have a printer to print off the sheet. But yeah, there we go. That's a job done. Um, 
for that repair, I'd just charge a bench fee, 40 quid plus the cost of a fan fiber. So 45 quid, um, that's what it'll cost for that. Um, you know, just standard bench fee and uh, the cost of the fan. There we go, another job done, another repair switch. Two of two tonight.